Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, I guess. I don't know. Hey guys, yep. uh, Pasta Life here, AJ, Ryan. What's up guys? Pretty sure that's how that song went. Yeah, yeah maybe. Pretty I don't sure. Know. I don't know. We'll look yeah. it up after we yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, today we are talking about eight wonderful winter whiskeys. These are our top eight whiskeys right now that we're going for. Winter time, what are we grabbing off the shelf? Yeah. You know, well, the shelf is the, the bourbon closet. Um, what are we going back to consistently? Sure. And I'll tell you one thing right now, there's a lot of barrel proofs on this list because this they, time they of year- They with more good stuff. They are, it's so freaking good. And especially this time of year, it's cold. I want something to warm me up. And if I'm going out and sitting by the fire with friends, yeah. I want something nice, barrel proof sitting there. Higher keep proof. It, higher yeah. proof, keeping me warm. I really like that. For the most part, there's there's a lot of those. Then there's just some just some beautiful ones that have just like this uh, dark, rich flavors to them. Yeah. Bottom line, I want something heavy. Exactly. I want something with lots of flavor right Let's start now. Start us off. I'm gonna start out with a budget pick. Sure. All right, because some of these start to get a little pricey. Starting off, this is this yeah, is what I'm going did. back to when it's just like a, a weekend or weekday night. Kids are in bed. I just want to watch some TV yep. and relax. I just want a quick pour of something. Old Forester 100. And why is that in there? It couldn't be that it's made it into our like top three at least constantly of all the wines we've done. Constantly. I it's had, also I, probably in there because it's extremely cheap. Right? I mean, for a massive bottle. Yeah, I mean, for 1.75, picked it up for like 34 bucks. My go-to proof points is like 100 plus. Yes, I, 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 I'm right there with you. Under 100, I mean, I enjoy some of those, yeah. but I still, I want, I want to start at Bottled and Bond and work my way up. Because we feel that uh, the higher proof, uh, there's more flavor in it. You can't go wrong with a higher bourbon if you're no. looking for that that deeper, rich taste. Yes, and this has all those brown sugar, caramel notes, those warm, dark flavors. It's very smooth. For a proof hounds like us, that first sip is just like, oh yeah, just what I needed to warm up my palate. If you aren't a proof hound, it might take you to that second or third sip. You're gonna be into this. And it's gonna be yeah. like, oh, so good. It's not gonna burn you out the whole night. First sip, maybe. Second and third, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that's the spot. What I'm impressed with this one is the fact that it, it it's very smooth, but as a 100 proof bourbon, it has the flavor taste of 120. Now, doesn't compare to another one of our lists. Yeah. It does not compare to this. However, what, what makes that, what puts that in our list is the fact that it is so inexpensive and you can find it everywhere. Yes. This you cannot. No. Uh, I jumped, we jumped from Old Forest 100 to Elijah Craig. This is the C921 edition. Uh, this is the, the barrel proof. This it's is what I'm what sipping, on sipping on yeah. right now. It's it's so good and it might. It, 2022 is the new year. We tasted this in 2021. We tasted this like literally the last, the last week. Pretty much week, yeah. Like we tasted it the week after Christmas. Yeah. And that's uh, when we finally got our hands on it. The, I don't know if I should put it in 2022 or not, but this might be my favorite 2022 so far. Yeah, there's a I lot mean, of stuff to come out this year, a lot of stuff where we're both excited for. Uh, but this is this is one of my ones that is like if it's a go-to, it's what I what I think is a wonderful whiskey because it has deep notes of what I believe to be tobacco and and that yeah. smokiness that you want for winter oh okay, well and i'm going for it too it's like when i uh you know i'm having okay it's a it's a chilly night i want to go out sit by the fire smoke a cigar which i've smoked a, a uh, connecticut wrap cigar with this it is it goes wonder pairs wonderfully well with it yeah but i mean this is coming in okay so this is 12 year old non-chill filtered coming in at 120.2 proof this is just really freaking phenomenal it's really really good yeah are you really doing that oh my try. god so yes the c921 release it's not readily available everywhere um you should only have to pay around the 70 to 80 dollar range for it so I mean, it's not uber expensive but I'd say any of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. I mean, this is our favorite of 2021, but all of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs this year were good, very good. And I would, I'm so excited to see what they bring out in 2022. Oh my gosh. Is it great? That is amazing. Next one that I'm going for, um, this is readily available. You can pick it up anytime, anywhere, under 60 bucks. Freaking amazing. Too. Yeah, Old Forester 1920. So I mean, you just get, you got the proof, it's coming at 115 proof. 
You got all those just beautiful, dark, rich flavors, the heavy note, the oiliness, the mouth coating it's very feel. very oily, yeah. Yes, it, you get that nice Kentucky hug, Cooks keeps well. you warm. It's just, and I'm just gonna tell you, with a freaking cigar, oh my God, yeah. it is so good, so good. And again, you can pick yeah. it up anywhere. Yeah, and I, already, anywhere. I killed one bottle of it. This, this, this bottle was actually a Christmas gift. Thank you, sir, uh, for the, the person who gave me this to me as a Christmas gift. Because um, I kill, was able to kill my other bottle and pop this bottle open. Well, on the other side of the proof spectrum, we'll keep it uh, the same with distilleries, is the a, a go-to of the pot Stilled Life family, the 1910 yes. from Old Forester. This right here, pretty much the same flavor profile, I think, of 1920, just a lighter proof. Just, you get the same explosion of flavors. This right here is just great for if you don't want to get sloshed. And it, again, it's readily available and it's yeah. somewhat inexpensive. Well, in in to me, it's it's definitely sweeter. It gets in more into that toffee caramel notes yeah. uh, than the 1920. Uh, with it is a double oak product, unlike the 1920. So that double oaking, the lower proof, it definitely smooths out any harsh notes that might be uh, if you're not a, a proof hound. Yeah. It's just so good. It, I recommend this to so many people. They say they like whiskey, but they're not necessarily into it like we are yeah. into it. You know what I mean? They taste a barrel bottled in bond and it's like, ooh, that's hot. It's very hot. If, that, if that's hot to them, I'm saying, you know what? You need to go pick up a 1910. Yeah. That's a great bond. And uh, this winter right now, this is becoming my final pour of the night quite often because of that sweet dessert like yeah. uh note that i'm getting out of that it's like you know what i'll come off of the 1920 have a cigar everything else and then my last pour of the night it's that 1910 yeah it's my dessert and that's uh, for me it was just it's kind of the best part about 1910 and 1920 is if you become acclimated to the taste if they become one of your favorites you're not gonna have to break the bank just to continue that taste on in the future and like you know you're not gonna have to it's not like you get acclimated to an old Fitz 11 year or Blanton's. No, you're getting used to something that you can pick up pretty much anywhere and yeah. it's not gonna kill your bank. I've just gotten turned on to them here recently and actually I got turned on by this bottle. So this is, I'm dipping, starting to dip into this more and more and more. Stellum single barrel. Vega. Yeah, this is the from the Vega. So Vega, if I, re if I remember my research correctly, this was released in spring and fall of 2021. This is a single barrel store pick. So you can pick up the regular Stellum or you can pick up the releasing store picks as of 2021 as well, the single barrels. This one is coming in at 114.36 proof. Um, it's selected by Vanilla Car Caramel Bomb. Caramel. And it is... Caramel. It is most definitely a Vanilla Caramel Bomb. It is. It is so, so good. Um, so Stellum Spirits is actually, it's a, it's a branch off from Barrel uh, Bourbon. If you guys are familiar with Barrel, they are just famous for their single barrel picks. This is their, this is supposed to be their more consistent flavor profile and also more of an entry level price point. So barrel products, you're typically gonna be spending in that 80 to $100 plus range to get anything in the barrel lineup. Yeah. Stellum, you can come in at around 50 bucks for their regular product. And this store pick, $54. Nice. 54 bucks, it's readily, it's easily available. Um, they're still, they're sitting on the shelf in multiple stores around us. This one is great and I am dipping, it doesn't look like it, but I, we got a lot to select from. I'm dipping more and more into this and I'm just gonna side note here, with a cigar, I register this as dangerous because I wouldn't necessarily pair it with a cigar um, because it just, it's not that it's not good, it's just like freaking drinking sweet, beautiful water. Yeah. I mean, you can get yourself sloshed too fast on this when you're drinking a, uh, yeah. when you're smoking a cigar. Um, it's, it, it oh. pairs really well, but almost too well. So I, I, I wouldn't necessarily pair with a cigar myself, but I love it. It's so yeah. good. I'm dipping more and more into this. I really love these barrel proofs and these single barrel picks this year. Continuing the store pick, we have anything Maker's Mark from the Safe Collection in the store pick series, if you can consider it a series, but yeah. anything store pick from Maker's Mark. Um, this is just fantastic. This right here for me, this one specifically, this is the French Confection. I bought it in Texas. For me, it's heavy, heavy vanilla. Oh yeah. I love this. 
And and if you're pairing it to FA01, which I actually have FA01 in my decanter back here, it's a close second. So yeah, this this right here is is top notch, top shelf stuff. Yeah. It's a bit expensive. I think this bottle was about 70 bucks. Right. But it's almost like you can't go wrong with, with something. You know, like this. I've tried multiple store picks and they just all seem to be really, really good. I don't think yeah. you can go wrong with a Maker's Mark store pick. I'm super impressed with what Maker's Mark is doing here lately um, with their store pick, their stave collection. So Maker's Mark doesn't actually have a single barrel program. So unlike a lot of distillers, they rotate their barrels in the rick houses to, sure. because they want consistency of barrels for that consistent Maker's Mark flavor. Well, that doesn't pair well if you want a single barrel program. So what they do is they allow you to come in, you pick staves, and you actually create your own stave profile within one of their barrels. And so then that creates the single barrel with the staves that are inserted in and aged for an additional period of time. Yeah. These are just so, so good. They're readily available. I think every store I walk into has a store pick. I mean, it, literally every store I walk into has a store pick. They're great. You can pick them up under 80 bucks. It's well worth it. We just picked this up recently. I just recently found it out. Yeah. And <coughs> I'm just going to say, um, if we you bought can, it today. Today. And if you can see how much we have already drinking out of it, we haven't drink done a drink, drink, drinking out of it, drinking, drank, drink it. We've drank it so much out of this bottle. Yeah. So uh, this is Knob Creek. It's a single barrel, uh, barrel strength store pick. This is coming in at 120 proof. God, guys, we haven't even done a review on this. We've just been sitting here while we filmed a couple other videos. We're gonna even get to be able to do a review. We're gonna drink so much of it I mean, that the bottle is gonna be empty. I mean, come on. We, it was just like, oh my god, this is so amazing. Can we can we can we specify a little further? We bought it today, but today is in two hours ago. Yeah. Okay. And and it's down to there. And we've just been sipping it back and forth. Yeah, there's not much in these glasses now because we were like, yeah, we gotta we gotta pump the brakes on yeah. this one real quick. Yeah. We're we're not gonna have any left to be able to do a review on. Yeah, it is that wonderful that if 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 both Ryan and I are sipping the crap out of this. Yeah, and it's, it's, in, it's only like fifty dollar, fifty fifty five dollar range. Yeah, it's readily available. A lot of places are doing Knob Creek store picks. You get it at 120 proof. Now, I'm not normally a Knob Creek fan. No, neither am I. Yeah, because you get that dusty peanut note. I like it sometimes, but for some reason, there's something in the Knob Creek profile that's just, it's just off no for me of, most yeah. of the time. Um, it's not bad, just not a fan. Well, just that 15 year that we had. Yeah, 15 year. I didn't really like it too much. It doesn't taste bad, but I know there's plenty out there that are cheaper. Yes. Far cheaper tastes way better. This. This. This specifically. <laughs> this is way better than that 15 yeah. year special edition that I have. And that's what I'm gonna say is like, this has all the, this dark, rich, caramel, brown sugar, molasses, like maple syrup, pancakes on a plate. Close to a tobacco taste. To, yes, so. tobacco. It's got the, definitely has a tobacco note in it. And the mouth feel, it's coating, Coat it's it. oily. Finishes that, that long, coating stays oh. with you for minutes. Oh yeah, like Which it sounds dumb when you say it stays with you for a long time, minutes. But uh, were you talking about a bourbon? Oh my god, if, yeah. If, if it's still there, like two or three minutes after, that's a great finish. Oh god, yeah. Like we tasted this, so we went to the store and uh, we were talking with a guy, and I didn't even realize he worked there. And he's like, "Hey, we got some uh, <laughs> barrel picks, some store picks up here that you can sample if you want to before you buy them." It's like, "Yeah, heck yeah." Well, what do you got? And we start talking through, and then through the conversation, all of a sudden, it's like, "Yeah, I was thinking about that." And I'm like, well, we got some of that up there. I'm like. Let's, Let's go try it. it. Let's try it. And oh my God, it was, it was freaking so amazing. So good that we bought both of the ones he let us try on the spot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was so good. And it's just like it, everything that I don't typically like about a Knob Creek is muted yeah. in this. Everything that I like is accentuated sure. uh, in this one. I can see must have been a Knob Creek fan now. Yes. I am a not just creek. because of this just, bottle. Yes, this I'm a convert. Yeah, I am a convert. I love this bottle. It reminds me a lot of the C921 from it Elijah really Craig. It does. Just, yeah, this one right it's here. not as not as uh, accentuated of tobacco the, notes. This is heavier with the tobacco and the, the kind of the smoky cigar note. But this right here has those flavors somewhat. Dumbed down is a bad term. This is 100%. This is about 96%. 
That basically, if we're talking about in terms of flavoring, yes, um, very close. Yeah, it's almost like they have the same juice. Okay, so to be honest, so that is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is is a 12 year uncut unfiltered. This is coming in like literally less than three months shy of 10 years in the barrel. There are a few notes that are accentuated in the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Obviously, it's not the same juice. Heaven Hill, Jim Beam. There are a few notes that are better rounded. Yep. In the Elijah Craig that aren't in the Knob Creek, but this is. We're talking about, you know, yeah, percent, very small percentages here. We're in the we're in the same ballpark. We're uh, we're in the we're very close. We're in the same freaking section, same sure. row, same aisle. And the last for this list of wonderful winter whiskeys, yeah, Rabbit Hole Derringer. Now we have not reviewed this. We have but not. But we love the hell out of it. Oh, this right so here good. also is coming in so at a 93 proof. I believe it's 93 yeah. solid. It's not, yeah, it's not, yeah. and we're proof hounds. It's not high proof. It's but it so makes up good. for it in that sherry cask finished flavor. This is unbelievable. So yeah, it's yeah, it's 93 proof, but the flavors that are infused into it with it being finished in that PX sherry cask more than makes up for its somewhat lower proof point. Yeah. You're still getting that explosion of flavor. You're still getting a burn. Not quite as high as a burn than than what you know what's on the table oh. up here. But again, it makes up for it for the finish that it has. Yeah. I love well, this. Yes, it, exactly. I mean, it's it's very good. It's something that there again, it's another one that I would finish off the night with. You yeah. might notice this one is still got the plastic on it. It's unopened. It's, it's brand new. We've already finished off like six of these bottles. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, we've we've killed a few bottles of this this winter already. We've had some help. We've had yes, we, we've had we've some had help. We've had some friends help us drink them. Yes, but and, yeah, we've gone through it. multiple bottles. In fact, there's an empty bottle there's around a, here somewhere. Yeah, there's an empty bottle around here someplace. That's literally we went out earlier today and we grabbed this bottle because we, we didn't have any more left to film with. We really didn't. If you're looking for a wonderful whiskey to pick up for this winter, if you can find them, they're I think it's tied for the top spot of it being the most expensive thing that we have on this table up here. This is $80. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that go goes to, right with the Elijah Craig. Yeah, Elijah Craig, and this is $80. Everything else is is under. Every, well, most, this is $70. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't matter. This yeah. right here is $80. You got to try it, guys. You have to try it at least once. Yeah. I mean, bottom line, okay, so we've got the old Force 100. That's your budget pick. We've got the Stellum. That's coming around $50, $55 bucks for a, a barrel pick of that. 1920s coming around $55, $60. Bucks. Cents coming around, around $55, $60. The Knob Creek's coming around 50, 55 bucks. Yep. The, any of the store pick makers marks, they're gonna sit around 60 to 70, depending yeah. on what state, I guess, where, yeah. where you're at, what store you're in. And then finally, the Derringer and the Elijah Craig C921, or really any of the barrel proof Elijah, yeah. they're gonna sit somewhere around $80. Yeah, 70 to 80 bucks. And yeah. the C921 is just our favorite for this year. It really is. It, I, I love it. And like literally, we got that less than two weeks ago. You can see how much I love that bottle. I'm going back this to that is constantly. This holding back, too. Yes. Holding yeah. back. You have another bottle uh, yeah. somewhere. You've also got A and B up there. Yeah. Which I don't think they're as good as C, but again, okay, actually, these are all three. This is my this is my backup bottle. That's your backup bottle. And guess what? I have a bottle at my place too, and it's up to there, and it's only about a week and a half old. Yeah. That's just me by myself. Yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> but no, yeah. guys, the, these are eight wonderful winter whiskeys that we recommend. Just fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're great. And then you get it all price points from roughly 20-ish dollars all the way up to 80 bucks. Yeah. You don't have to go spend over a hundred bucks for a phenomenal pour this winter. Let's stick our faces up here so we don't look like we're out of focus. Guys, pick these up. These yeah. are great. Hey, and uh, if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button. It really helps us out with the whole algorithm thing. It if does. we've earned your subscription, please hit the subscribe button as well. We have a live stream every Thursday night at 8.30 sharp. Yep, Eastern uh, Standard. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. It's the only time I guess that matters. <laughs> wow, no, really? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, we probably lost some subscribers in California. <laughs> 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 but guys, we thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or ideas for videos you'd like for us to do in the future, yeah. be sure to leave those in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Yep. Cheers to that. Cheers. Be safe, enjoy, be responsible. Be sure to spade new to your pets. <laughs>